If I had to guess, most of you watching this video have heard of ChatGPT. It has taken over the internet by storm, amassing well over 100 million users in just a few months. In comparison, it took TikTok 9 months and Instagram over 2 years to achieve that same number. But how exactly did it become so popular? Today we're going to cover the entire story of ChatGPT. From how it was created to how it exploded in popularity, the story of this new product is nothing short of fascinating. And it starts in the brisk summer of August 2015. At the time, a very important dinner was taking place at a restaurant in Menlo Park, California. This dinner was attended by many Silicon Valley elites, most notably Elon Musk and an entrepreneur named Sam Altman. During the meal, the conversation quickly turned to artificial intelligence. They discussed the looming threat of big tech companies monopolizing the power of AI and began brainstorming ways to make AI benefit society. And their lengthy conversations eventually led to the creation of a new company called OpenAI. Their plan for this company followed the complete opposite of a typical Silicon Valley tech startup. Instead of prioritizing profits, OpenAI would run as a non-profit with a primary focus on researching the benefits of AI technology. So instead of intensively training algorithms behind closed doors, they wanted to build AI and share its benefits as widely and evenly as possible. So with their new business idea set in stone, they got to work immediately. With the help of financial backers, they formed a team of some of the top AI researchers in the country and started started researching and developing AI for humanity, and in their first few years, they were pretty successful in doing so. Their first two breakthrough projects were called Universe and OpenAI Gym. Universe was a platform that allowed developers and researchers to train and evaluate AI across a diverse set of media, including games, websites, and apps. And OpenAI Gym was a toolkit designed to help developers and researchers train AI through reinforcement learning which is essentially trial and error. These two products were super useful to anyone researching AI, but that usefulness came at a cost. The computing cost for running these two projects reached tens of millions of dollars. On top of that, OpenAI's research team also came at a steep price. Some of their employees' salaries were upwards of $1.9 million a year. Because OpenAI was running as a nonprofit, they concluded it was essentially impossible to keep the business running in its current condition. So they were forced to make a controversial decision in 2019. And that decision was to transform the company into a for-profit organization but not entirely for profit. To keep the company afloat while also appealing to its core beliefs, OpenAI created a new entity called OpenAI LP, which would operate as a quote, capped profit sector of OpenAI. In basic terms, investors hoping to profit from investing in OpenAI could now do so through OpenAI LP, but these investors could only make up to 100 times their initial investment. The rest of the money their investments made would go directly into OpenAI's nonprofit work, which still consisted of researching and developing AI for society. While the change in the the company's structure made sense to keep the business alive, many employees disagreed with the change, highlighting that making any kind of profit went against OpenAI's core beliefs. Regardless of the backlash, OpenAI and their newly named CEO Sam Altman were now open for public investments. And in a matter of months, they struck a $1 billion investment deal with Microsoft that allowed Microsoft to use their products for commercial use in the future. And the products OpenAI would eventually develop with Microsoft's money were nothing short of mind-blowing. Their continued research in AI would eventually lead them to two more significant breakthroughs, Dolly and GPT-3. Dolly allowed users to create photorealistic images of anything they could imagine by typing just a few words. It's capable of producing a wide range of images, including objects, animals, and scenes that do not exist in the real world. And these images are often indistinguishable from real photos. But while Dolly is no doubt infatuating, OpenAI's creation of GPT-3 is what's essential to our story. GPT-3 was a natural language processing model that uses deep learning techniques to generate human-like text based on a given input. It was trained on information covering two-thirds of the entire internet and can perform a wide range of language-related tasks such as translations, question answering, and much more. But while GPT-3 was a massive breakthrough in OpenAI's research, it wasn't perfect by any means. Researchers at their lab quickly discovered that GPT-3 had trouble producing exactly what a user wanted. While basic tasks were easy for it, complex user inputs would result in subpar outputs, making GPT-3 difficult to use for humans. Sam wasn't happy with these results, so he instructed his employees at OpenAI to drop all of their other projects and fine-tune GPT-3 to make it better. And just 13 days after starting this new endeavor, his team finished the project and renamed this new AI ChatGPT. ChatGPT worked far better than GPT-3, and Sam was excited about this new breakthrough. But he was concerned that rival companies might outclass ChatGPT by releasing their own AI chatbots to the public before him 
which would make his product look far less revolutionary. And so, almost as a Hail Mary effort, OpenAI decided to pull ChatGPT from beta testing and release it to the public on November 30th, 2022. And what happened after that day would forever change the world's perspective on AI. The general public quickly discovered the unfathomable usefulness ChatGPT had to offer. Users were baffled at its ability to write unique song lyrics, essays, poetry, computer code, recipes, movie screenplays, jokes, and so much more in perfect English. Not only that, but ChatGPT served as an invaluable tool for people's work. It could answer tough medical questions, create business plans, craft up advertising campaigns, give stock recommendations, and more. The genius behind this profound piece of technology swiftly took over conversations on social media and brought millions upon millions of new users to OpenAI. Within five days of its release, ChatGPT had more than 1 million visitors, and in just two short months, it reached 100 million unique users. But it wasn't just the general public that was in awe. Many companies took notice of this impressive technology and wanted a piece of the action. BuzzFeed was quick to ink a deal with OpenAI to use ChatGPT to create AI-generated lists and quizzes. And Snapchat recently implemented ChatGPT in a new product called MyAI, which can recommend birthday gift ideas for friends, plan hiking trips for a long weekend, among many other activities. With everything that happened in the months following ChatGPT's release, OpenAI was caught completely off guard by its explosive growth. They knew their invention was great, but never imagined just how big this project would become. But what made ChatGPT different was that it was one of the first AI technologies of its kind to be made available to the public in a way that the public could understand. Our society has never experienced AI in a way that was so easy to use and so helpful at the same time. ChatGPT completely changed the public's perspective on just how useful, powerful, and scary this technology is. In a matter of months, everyone started talking about how AI might upend their jobs, companies, schools, and lives for better and for worse.